Europe's trade chief will push Beijing for fewer restrictions on European businesses on a four-day visit to China, when he can expect tough conversations over a planned EU investigation into electric car imports. Trade Commissioner Vladis Dombrokis will take part in a joint economic and trade dialogue, meet Chinese officials and European companies active in China, and deliver two speeches during the September 23rd to 26th trip to Shanghai and to Beijing. Now, for the European Union, the visit is designed to renew dialogue with China after its COVID-19 closures and as EU wariness grows over Beijing's closer ties with Moscow following Russia's 2022 invasion of Ukraine. The Brussels will arrive just a week after the EU executive said it will investigate whether to impose punitive tariffs to protect European producers against cheaper Chinese electric vehicle imports. Well, let's tell you that Japanese yuan slipped today after the Bank of Japan has stalked to ultra easy monetary policy and make changes, made no changes to its outlook, while stocks and bonds were kept under pressure as investors hunkered down for U.S. interest rates to stay high. Japan's nickel paired losses by 1% to trade at 0.2%. MSCI's broadest index of Asian Pacific shares uh, touched a 10 months low before recovering to rise 0.4% mostly driven by gains in Hong Kong and China. Chinese state media reports on the slide of uh, regulatory measures to support business were welcomed by traders who sent the Hang Seng to and mainland China this market about, uh, up about 0.6%. S&P 500 had dropped 1.6% overnight and was down 2.7% in a week, but were steady in Asia as Europe features fell 0.6%. The Bank of Japan maintained ultra-low interest rates earlier today and pledged to keep supporting the economy until inflation sustainably hits its 2% target, suggesting it was in no rush to face out its massive stimulus program. As widely expected, the BOJ maintained a 0.1% interest charge on financial institutions, excess reserves packed with central bank and a target for 10-year government bond yields around 0%. The BOJ's decision contrasts with those of the U.S. and European central banks which in recent meetings have signaled their resolve to keep borrowing costs high to rein in inflation. Chinese craze over generative artificial intelligence has triggered a flurry of product announcements from startups and tech giants on almost a daily basis. But investors are warning a shakeout is imminent as cost of profit pressures grows as tension between Beijing and Washington have also weighed on the sector. The balls in China first ignited by the success of Open AI chat GPT almost a year ago has given rise to what experts have described as a war of 100 models as its rivals from Baidu and Alibaba to Huawei promote their offerings. According to data, China now has at least 130 large language models accounting for 40% of the global total and just behind the United States 50% share. However, investors and analysts say the most where to yet to find viable business models as they are too similar to each other, and we're now grappling with surging costs. Crude oil prices rose today as concerns that a Russian ban on fuel exports could tighten in global supply outweighed fears that a further U.S. interest rate hike could tent their demand. But they were still uh, headed for a first weekly loss in four weeks. U.S. West Texas intermediate crude rose to sell at $89.00. 94 cents with an uptick of 0.35%. Brent also experienced an upward price review of 0.21% to sell at $93.50. Money Light is up 0.05% to sell at $96. The Peck Basket is up 1.22%, selling at $95.82 per barrel.